In 1829, David Walker, a son of a slave but born free in North Carolina, moved to Boston. The next year, he published a pamphlet, Walker's Appeal to the Colored Citizens of the World, which became widely read and infuriated Southern slaveholders. The state of Georgia offered a reward of $10,000 to anyone who would deliver Walker alive and $1,000 to anyone who would kill him. Here is an excerpt. I asked the candid and unprejudiced of the whole world to search the pages of historians diligently and see if anyone ever treated a set of human beings as the white Christians of America do us, the blacks. I also asked the attention of the world of mankind to the declaration of these very American people of the United States, a declaration made July 4th, 1776. It says, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving that they're just powers from the consent of the governed, that whenever any form of the government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it. See your declaration, Americans. Do you understand your own language? Hear your language proclaimed to the world July 4th, 1776. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Compare your own language above, extracted from your Declaration of Independence, with your cruelties and murders inflicted by your cruel and unmerciful fathers in yourselves, on our fathers, and on us, men who have never given your fathers or you the least provocation. Now, I ask you candidly, was your sufferings under Great Britain? one hundredth part as cruel and tyrannical as you have rendered ours under you? Some of the whites are ignorant enough to tell us that we ought to be submissive to them, that they may keep their feet on our throats, and if we do not submit to be beaten to death by them, we are bad creatures and of course must be damned, etc. If any man wishes to hear this doctrine openly preached to us by the American preachers, let them go into the southern and western sections of this country. I do not speak from hearsay. What I have written is what I have seen and heard myself. The Americans may be vigilant as they please, but they cannot be vigilant enough for the Lord. Neither can they hide themselves where he will not find them and bring them out.